Okay, this one's pretty easy to do by hand because y equals x is 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, etc. So y equals x is this way. But y equals negative x, it's going to change all the other ones negative. And so it's actually going to split these other two quadrants in half like this. And basically, we're rotating 90 degrees. And then just for grins, I stuck them here in the calculator. And notice I want this bottom one to be the fat line. And when I graph them, there's y equals x. Then the fat one's y equals negative x. We're splitting the quadrants in two on 45 degree angles. And you just want to say on this one, say rotate y equals x 90 degrees. So that's more like a rotation than a reflection. And we're good on that one and we'll be right.